Hi everyone. In this video, I am trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. When I logged into my storefront, I mean when I am trying to log into the storefront server, it says the site can't be reached. So the storefront page is not reachable for whatever reason. So I am trying to fix this problem. So when I hit enter, it says it is not reachable. So let us uh, check a couple of things. Okay. So let's go to services first and see if we can find any important information. First, uh, it's always good to make sure whether the storefront uh, related services are up or not. So okay, it's coming up. So these are all the automatic services. So let me scroll down. Okay, so these are Citrix services, Citrix subscription. So Citrix default domain services. So this is also in running state, credential wallet. Okay, everything looks good here. So let's do one thing. Let's quickly go to IIS manager, the place where we host the website. So Okay, so we are on IIS manager. So this is the name of the site storefront. Let me cancel it. Okay. So you'll find all the details here. Okay, you see something uh, interesting here for whatever reason it says default websites. It says default website stopped. Okay. Let's right click and see if it gives any details. Okay, it says explore, edit permissions, add application, add virtual directory, edit bindings, manage website. Okay. Okay, it says if you see here, it's in uh, stop state for whatever reason. So it's giving an option to start. Okay, let's start and see how it goes. What does it say? It says the website cannot be started. Another website may be using the same port. Okay. Uh, this is interesting. Okay, let's right click once again. Okay, let's click on advanced settings here. Okay, it is the bindings HTTP 443. Uh, okay, enable protocols HTTP. Okay, so what we can do is uh, let's click on storefront and uh, So it gives restart. Let's restart and see how it goes. Okay, I'm trying to restart. Okay, let me go back to storefront server. Let me refresh. Okay, it still doesn't load the page. Okay, let's go back to IAS manager again. Uh, what else we can see? Okay, let's do one thing. Let us click on uh, application settings here. Okay, uh, if you can find something. Okay, it's, uh, it's not displaying anything. Let us try some other thing. Okay. Okay, what is this bindings? Let's click on bindings here. Okay, so when you click on bindings, okay, this is interesting. The port is 443 here, but I'm not using SSL. I'm not using, you know, I'm, uh, I haven't installed any certificates. So I'm writing on port 80, but not 443. Maybe this could be the reason why the page was not displaying. If you see here, it's, it's 443, not, uh, okay, let me, It's not HTTPS. I'm running this on port 80. Okay. Okay, it's not displaying. Uh, let's go back to storefront. Let's do one thing. Let's change the port to 80 and see how it goes because I'm not using any certificate. 
So the default HTTP traffic is 80 and if it is HTTPS then I can use 443. Here it is HTTP so I should use 80. 80 is the default port number. So let me click OK. Let me close this and uh, let me go back to okay let me go back and try to run it and see how it goes hit enter okay it's still not doing anything all right the site is not getting displayed for whatever reason okay let me right click on this let me start this time and see how it goes Okay, it didn't give any error message. Last time it gave some error message, but now it, it did not give any error message. And it's I see that I don't see that uh, error anymore here. So it looks okay. Let's do one thing. Let's uh, go back and uh, uh, try to access the storefront page again. Let me hit enter. Okay, it's trying to load something. It is taking a while. All right, it seems like we are back. Yes, we are back. All right, guys, uh, so we could uh, see the storefront page this time. Uh, we are not able to, I mean, uh, the initial issue of the page not getting displayed is solved. I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Thank you.